Tonight, a huge discovery is changing how we fight cancer. Turns out upping the exercise during treatment could significantly increase your odds of beating cancer. Pull, 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 pull. Great job. Good. Dee Dee Weinreb survived breast Three, cancer, four, and she says keeping active had a lot to do with it. I'm here twice a week. It's really helped bring it all together for me. Diagnosed last spring, the news shocked her. I thought it was a mistake. I was in the best shape of my life. Um, I'm a tennis player. I, I compete. I teach. Family and friends told her to tone it down. You know, try to take it easy, you know, rest, don't overdo it. But doctors had something else in mind. Exercise can greatly impact the lives of patients going through cancer therapy and also recovering from their treatment. In fact, a number of studies show that light to moderate exercise actually reduces a number of side effects. Exercise has been shown to improve the fatigue associated with cancer therapy and improve their stamina. It's also been shown to improve their quality of life and sense of well-being, decrease a sense of depression that may set in after or during cancer therapy. The endorphins are all those things they talk about. I mean, you really do notice it. Right, let's go for 10. But it's after treatment where patients see the biggest benefit. Exercise significantly lowers the chances their cancer will come back. Just two and a half hours per week for prostate cancer patients lowers the risk by 30%. For breast cancer patients, 40%. Remain active, but don't exercise or push yourself to the point of exhaustion. And that's going to really keep you healthy. A decade ago, many doctors told patients rest was best, but these new findings are changing that advice. No one really knows what's going to happen tomorrow, but we all want to eat well, we all want to exercise, and we all want to give ourselves the best chance possible. I do want to put out a word of caution here. Patients should ask their doctor before starting any new exercise routine, but that evidence, especially about exercising after cancer treatment, is pretty compelling.